Welcome to another video on data propositions. In today's video, we will be creating a drop down, as you see on screen, where we can actually choose from a list of names and it updates the image. So, in order for this functionality to be created, we will be using the image function, which will extract the data from a website or a web URL and pull the image into Excel. In such scenarios, how do I create a drop down where the names are visible and the image comes as a result? This is what we will be creating in this video. Let's get started. So, we have the team abbreviation and the team name here, and we are going to extract the data from ESPN.com. So, there is a URL here that I've already identified where I can actually extract the data from. So, here is an example. I know that I have to replace the specific um, part of the URL for each team. And this is something that we have explained in a previous video. So I'm going to go quickly on it. We'll put a link to the previous video so you can watch that if you're interested more in the data extraction part. The focus of this video is how do I create a drop down list? So I'm going to just copy this uh, URL for now because this is um, what will give me for Arizona, but we'll explain how this can be dynamic, equals the image function. And I need to put the URL within double quotes. And then comma, I can give an uh, alternative text for this specific uh, image. So I'm going to use, in this case, the abbreviate, no, the team name, C3 cell, which is where the team name is, as my alternative text. Uh, and I'm going to just do the default fit cell option. So I am going to replace this, the ARI part, um, because I know that that's for Arizona's image. I want it to be dynamic. So I will do an percent and select MIA for Miami. And then I will do another percent and double quotes for the .png because we need the uh, extension for the image to come through. So let's try this and we'll see how it uh, works. You can now see that there is a logo and that it, this logo is, uh, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see. And so I'm gonna increase the row height uh, from 15 to 25. Um, then, okay. So now we can see the logo of Miami Dolphins. If I drag this along, you will start seeing the logos for all the other teams as well. And that's because we have made it dynamic. I don't have to do extract the images separately. I can pull off them in. There you go. And uh, it is taking an extra second to go and extract with the view. So now we have the logo, so I don't need the URL anymore. So we have the images in this. So let's just call it image just for reference. And I'm going to select all these cells where the logos are, and I'm going to give it a name in the name box on the top left, logos, let's say. I'm going to call it logos, press enter. This assigns the name to this set of cells. So if you go to the formulas name manager, you will see there is a reference called logos, and it is referring to the cells D3 to D34. Everything is good so far. Now let's create a drop down list. So, in order to create a drop down list, I'm going to click on this cell here and I will just mark it with a border so I know which cell I'm working with. And now I will go to the data ribbon, data validation, and here I will choose list, go into the source, and you can just say equals logos because we know the name, or you can also do press F3 and it'll actually give you the list of names you have available. I only have one in this file. So I can click equals logos. Now I'll do okay. So now when I choose Buffalo Bills, that logo will come up. So everything is working. So important catch here is that why it is able to show the exact names is because we actually put the names in the second argument in the image function, which is the text. So if we look at what the image function uh, syntax is, let's see what it says. 
you will see that this is the alternative text that describes the image. So it's an optional thing, but if you add that, that comes in handy for the drop down option here. That is what comes up here. So that is why we need the column here, team name, for it to be the drop down. So for example, let's test it out, right? If I just want Miami here, and uh, let me go back here and it see it shows Miami instead of Miami Dolphin. So if I click on Miami, it picks it up. So the name here, the name column is what will appear in the drop down, whereas um I can spell, whereas the image will automatically get picked up because this is the name range that we are referring to. We called it logos, so that will appear. So this is um something that you can use. If your raw images are on a web URL and you're extracting it using the image function into Excel and you want to create a drop down, this is a very easy technique. So, if you have any questions on this, let me know. If you have any specific use cases where you think this could be used in your organization, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.